In the past, we've used data to effectively drive operations and derive reactive optimization on a particular process. We call that descriptive analytics. Now, as we move forward, we're trying to derive additional value from that data. And this is important, and this is really the goal of all IoT solutions, to move from descriptive to predictive, and then ultimately to machine learning. But to get to predictive, we build on our descriptive heritage. We build on the data and the infrastructure that we've created over many, many years. But we need to be disciplined. We need to introduce new skills into the organization to manage data effectively. Data management sounds pretty dull, but it's not. It's cool, it's interesting. It's a key competence to organizations going forward. The ability to manage data and manage context and domain to be able to deliver value in a predictive analytic environment is key going forward. And it's investment that our clients need to make to ensure that they can deliver value. As we move away from descriptive to predictive, we can think of a couple of use cases where this drives value. The traditional one is about predictive maintenance on a particular asset. So we're looking at data, we're looking at an asset performance over a number of months or a number of years, and we're looking for particular failure modes that we're trying to predict. That's very useful in terms of long-term lifecycle asset management, and it's good in terms of reducing planned and unplanned downtime, which ultimately drives capacity and productivity. That is the ultimate goal. So what we need to think about is how we use analytics, how we use data to drive productivity in an organization. How we take a facility that's uh, producing 100,000 units a, a year to producing 110,000 units a year. That's re what really drives value. And we can do that by using the data, by looking at the, the performance of the factory, looking at the individual cells, looking at the asset performance within those cells, and understanding what the correct mix, what the correct resources are required to drive that organization forward. If you think about a building management solution, uh, I was in a factory a couple of weeks ago, and we've got a manufacturing execution system. We're getting lots of data from this solution. It's given us some great insight into the process, but unfortunately, we don't know what the ambient temperature is within the building. We get the ambient temperature from the building management system. Our ability then to integrate the building management data into the manufacturing execution system to understand what the ambient temperature is, to understand what the HIVAC system is doing within the building, allows us to get deeper insight into what's going on in the process, to manage quality, to manage productivity within that particular cell.